Okay, well, we're back. Apparently, there's some small technical difficulties, but. <laughs> oh, the whole time there's no sound. Oh. Oh, oops. We did a we did a very long introduction so far. But anyways, hey guys, welcome back to Seed Story Cup Three. I'm Strife Crow. Um, I'm joining Strife Crow. I'm Vortex. Um, yeah. And this is uh, we're basically waiting for Lothar's powder. We did the intros already, but we'll attempt to do it again. Uh, so Powder is playing Lothar, and they have the decks Hunter, Mage, Warrior for Lothar, and Powder is playing Warrior, Mage, Warlock, and they both chose to ban Druid. Um, we know Lothar is playing Face Hunter, and Powder is playing Freeze Mage. Yeah, so I and guess handlock. yeah, we're basically just uh, waiting to see what happens. You know, the conquest is very, very random depending on how you get the matches. So, who who's like favorite is is gonna be very based on, you know, who gets the good matchup. So, yeah, that's true. And winning, I always like winning the first uh, game. That helps you a lot as well in conquest. I I think. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's always nice to take the lead. Yeah. But yeah, we, we've seen, seen plenty of decks le just go 0 3 already, I think. Yeah, I think a lot of that could be due to. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's very easy to get kind of demoralized or, I don't know, kind of like tilted after you lose the game, right? Yeah. I, I wonder how much that is due to players, like after you lose the first game starting to play really bad in the next games could be just because of that. Or, I don't know, I mean, it could just be because, especially some earlier matches, uh, there could be a pretty big skill gap early on in the tournament in the first round. So if, you know, that could just be 3-0 is kind of just what it is. So. Yeah, that's true. So we should start any minute now, I think. Okay, uh, so we heard he still is making his deck. Ten cards left, and then we're ready to play. <laughs> or they are ready to play. <laughs> yeah. So who do you think is gonna win? Who do you root for? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Um, I think I think uh, Lothar's been doing very good recently. I think, especially after the after Nihilim got. I guess I created. Um, I think earlier on, like Lothar was hasn't like wasn't doing too good, and I think lately he's been doing very good. So that's something that's pretty uh, that uh, that I guess it's pretty interesting to keep track of. You know how how uh, how long his streak will. I don't know if he's on a streak, but you know just like yeah. he's been doing pretty good. So I I, I kind of want to see how it goes. Kind of maybe I know Lothar a little bit better. I'm kind of a little bit rooting for him. So. Oh yeah, Lot is my ex teammate, uh -huh. but like if we're gonna root both for the same player, that's not nice, so <laughs> I'll pick Powder. Okay. Okay, so the game is starting, so we'll jump right in. Alright, uh yeah, check out the game. Jaina versus Garrosh. Jaina versus Garrosh, that's what I heard so far. You asked for it. So it's this mech mage against warrior. Yeah, Lothar with the mech mage against powder warrior. Yeah, you uh, see very standard cards so far though. Uh, what what do you think about this matchup? Um. Oh, two mirrors. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I I think this matchup is is probably mech mage favored a little bit, but I don't think it's too bad either way. Uh, first thing though is that. Well, there's a very bad hand, and Power's yeah. a very good hand. Indeed. With basically the Armorsmith into Cruel Taskmaster Deathbite, like against, I think against Warrior for Mechmage, you want like a very, I don't know, like a balanced kind of hand. Like you, you want both weapons and minions, because if you just have weapons, you can just get crushed by yeah. Anoitron or Snow Chugger sometimes. So, if yeah, you just have minions, you can get run over. It's very nice, like, balanced, you know. So I really like this kind of hand against Mech Mage. Always has. Uh, and he doesn't really have a turn, so hopefully he draws something. Well, he, he will coin the Shredder, I guess. Yeah. He can leave the Armorsmith frozen for for yeah. another turn. Mm. 
does just well, go face. Well, you, you're gonna summon the second shredder as well, right? Yeah, that's the weird thing a little bit, because if you do want to summon second shredder, you can't bring the three one. Indeed. But, I mean, he does have other plays, potentially. Uh, he can frostbolt and ping. Although, that's because not Because now it's a little bit yeah. bad that he didn't kill one of the, those. He got a little bit failure. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a little bit unfortunate. I think he got a little bit, a little bit punished for not trading his his uh, Cogmaster. Because, if you think about it, like the Cogmaster is a three... This matchup is not that damage oriented early it's more about holding board control for mech yeah. mage and if you go pressure for damage and you get punished for it it's, it's very bad because his cog master was a 3-2 but after he lost the mech it, it turned back into a 1-2 right so oh wow that's super mm. surprising that why didn't he kill the test masker i don't know because now you can just trade uh the cog hammer the cruel for the cog master right yeah i don't know it seems a bit weird i wonder if he's like, he could have kept one, indeed. Yeah. I wonder if he's just playing too fast, or maybe and he's a little bit... Yeah, even saving his death spite is okay here, I guess. Yeah. Like, it's only one damage each turn, and you armor for two, so... Lothar has to think about um, when he wants to play these mirror entities, because going into these later turns, it's pretty important to yeah. have them up, so that it locks out some of the bigger creatures but like, like Dr. Boom, yeah. but uh, he also doesn't have much pressure unfortunately yeah. either, so it's very it's very hard to make the decision, you know. Also like two mirror teeth, it's it's kinda nice to play one because it takes you can't play both in the same turn. Uh, it takes a while to use them all so Yeah but the death bite is gonna like the the six drop like Armor Smith uh, or Shield Maiden I mean it just gets killed by the Death Bite. Mm -hmm. Oh he decides to kill it though. And then just is that a shield maiden up there? But oh, no, he doesn't have a shield. It's Sylvanas, indeed. Yeah, so he couldn't have propped out the yeah. mirror entity. Yeah. Well, that's sense. so. Yeah, he. So do you think he's gonna play the second mirror entity next turn? Um. Because, like, he don't get. M okay, so he's going for it, I guess. I think he probably should because, um, after getting out the cruel taskmaster. You yeah, kind of, he they have, have less small minions, Indeed. right? And the early early opening for Powder was an Armorsmith and a Cruel Taskmaster already, so there should be less and less small minions going on. And going to turn 7, Dr. Boom, also there's always just whatever, you know, yeah. Belchers, Shield Maidens, whatever. They're all they're all good to, to Mirror Entity. Now, I, I guess Powder's just giving up. As far as like not giving, getting too much value, yeah. with a hand like this, you don't have too much of a choice. Maybe it's just playing something. Yeah, and he like he's still in a really good shape. Like 27 health, he still has the brawl as well. Um, so it will be really difficult for Lothar unless he well he he gets two spare parts though. So he might he might get like Antonidas mm -hmm. into Salt. So uh, what ha what happens to the Salt here? Which one which ones? Which one is first? I think the mirror entity one oh, well, technically no, like is the, what, first, right? No, the the one he wants goes f off first, and then uh, the mirror entity. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's because it's not a battle cry. It's the, uh, it's a secret. Yeah. Well, I, I, it's there, I'm never too sure about this. I, I guess I guess you're probably right. Yeah, I just don't know. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. what to do? Because the one that goes first is is gonna be death rattling first, right? So yeah. So you're saying the warrior one is is first. So yeah, so he, does, he doesn't losses. really do anything. He gets it back indeed. If yeah, he okay, okay. That makes sense. I wonder if Lothar knows, though. Because that's a pretty big thing, if you know, right? Yeah, it, Because if yeah, you know is. and you don't know, it's a very big difference here. Because he doesn't actually have a good move. If you just frostbolt that, you can, like, it's very weak to brawl. I almost feel like maybe like he didn't know. Is... Because it seems like maybe he should have just traded, like, attack first. Both and trade with this kind of move, it's very weak to brawl, yeah. right? Because yeah. you're leaving up their Sylvanas. Although the cool thing is you have your Sylvanas still, so usually if there's Sylvanas and brawl, it always wins the brawl. Indeed. But because you have a, your Sylvanas, I don't know what will happen. Let's see. I guess it depends, right? This one was played first, so. Well, if if just Lotus or Powder's um, Sylvana dies and his Sylvana lives, then he can steal Sylvanas as well. Yeah. So Basically, I'm thinking like, like if one of the other three minions wins. I, we'll get to see here yeah. whether you're right, because if one of the other three minions wins, it'll steal and steal back, right? 
Oh yeah, yeah so, so, so he should steal the shredder and the other should steal it back. back. Yep, that's what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, I see you're right. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's what happened. And but there's fireworks. So. That was the un unlucky bro. That's the almost the worst case scenario. I feel like out of the three minions, that's the worst. I'm not sure if there's a better one for Sylvanas. Uh, well, he could still Sylvanas. Yeah, yeah. If the other person <laughs> yeah. Sylvanas wins, it yeah. might be the best for you. Yeah. So he does have big game oh, wow. though. But this is looking very scary actually. It's yeah. So much damage already. And I was I was thinking like Powder was in really yeah, good shape. But after but that, that rag, yeah, it, that's actually interesting. Lothar is using rag in Mech Mage. That's not a common Indeed. card, but I have easy. heard like some people try to play with Pyroblast. It hit the ladder. Some people uh, hit top legend with it, but other than that, like I don't think it's the Pyroblast is that good. But Dragnos seems pretty decent. Oh, Ooh. that. Oh. Yeah. That's a that's lethal. I mean, Indeed. that's not le based well, on what we if, see in the hand, right? Because it's yeah. armor next to it, fireball. I wonder if he's going to go for. It. I think you do. What else can you do here? Indeed. Right. You, can't you go do for it. Indeed. Else. Yeah. It's because it's only three that cards. It's a time rewinder. You don't want a time rewinder, I think. Yeah. The longer You'd you rather wait. Rather just keep it on board, but you can't do anything about it. And so. you can also still draw into another second fireball. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's lethal. Uh, Nothing you can do now. Um, no, it, there's also no way to draw a card with no, this acolyte, so dead. it's over. Yeah. So, <laughs> Looks like all yeah. the damage that Lothar got in early might have helped, although I'm not sure. Some of that could snowball where he, he would get more damage playing safer still. So. Well, yeah, Lothar's taking the lead, um, but he still has his warrior for the hunter, so that's not too bad. Yeah. But he's, uh, yeah. You can see just how good Mech Mage is against Warrior here, just that. All the damage just adds in. Even with the kind of like the weird hand, you know, two mirror entities, no math scientists. Just yeah, kind of a weird normally thing. that's really bad for you, but like mm -hmm. Woya has a lot of big minions, so that helped him helped yeah. him a lot. And the Sylvanas into Sylvanas. Like maybe if you went Dr. Boom and then next turn like Brawl, um, it would be an empty board. Yeah, well, it's also a lot of face damage it takes, <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, that's that wasn't good either. Yeah, maybe it's better because if you think about it, you, they don't steal your boom bots. Yeah. I mean, so it's a seven seven pair of five five, two more damage, but you also have the boom bots, and it's not that much bigger, right? Seven seven five yeah. five. So maybe I can see it, just playing the boom instead of Savannah's and uh, on the mirror entity, because Savannah's is is also pretty. Yeah, bad. he he went face, so it was like only four damage difference. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. And then the ball wouldn't do anything, so. Oh yeah, yeah. And no, but I, the ball, I, gu the ball I guess work. I guess you get an armor turn as well then, because then you drop Sylvanas on turn eight, and then you arm up instead. Of, so he missed two armor as well. Yeah, I mean the Sylvanas was bad for him after the brawl, right? Because yeah, because of it worked the way you said, where the other yours is played first, so it's not actually that good for you. Powder. Okay, so we're loading up in game two. It's warrior against a oh, warlock. So Pyron poses this is, this is what we get. We saw what Ysera, at least. Uh, pretty much other than that, it seemed kind of kind of normal standard. Although all the warriors are pretty much pretty much the same. I don't know. I know Niflim is playing like uh, handlock, but like they're not playing the normal handlock. They're playing also demons in it. So it's yeah, like demon and a, handlock, this and is they a pretty could. Interesting one. Yeah, I I don't think. I'm not sure what they cut out of the deck, but I saw Ty's play it as well, and it was doing pretty good. It's interesting to see that Lothar actually mulliganed his Void Caller because that seems like one of the strongest cards against Warrior, where you can you can play it around turn four, yeah. and if you have a demon in your hand, it's very hard to kill. I can actually see that being very comparable to a Mountain Giant turn four, as well, because it's. It's almost easier to deal with Mountain Giant sometimes, where if you armor up early, you can shield slam for around eight. Um, yeah. And cruel execute, or oh, you yeah, can yeah, DGH yeah. it. Indeed. You Whereas get the, the other one is more speculative. But yeah, I mean, even that's so weird because even if you want to play the Mountain Giant first, you can still play the Void Caller after. Yeah, indeed. Like, you, you, now you don't have a turn tree, so you're basically gonna use your coin, right? And he's going to. And then just enter, like, well. Then you can. No, no, he still can do it. Oh yeah, indeed. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's fine. Uh, did he top deck the the watcher? Or uh, the top? Yeah, I he did. I was like, he did. What, what, what would he do if he didn't top? Deck? <laughs> Nothing, I guess. No, but he had. He has to use his coin anyways. Right? Well, yeah, yeah, then just coin and do nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's a really lucky top deck, I'll say that. Because that's always awkward. Yeah. The coin, nothing. But Powder doesn't really have an answer against the Mountain Giant y uh, yet. Like, two yeah, times Death he... Bite, that's the only thing he can do. Mm -hmm. But that's uh, that's way too much damage, so... It's unfortunate for him. He, if he top decks Shield, shield Slam, he can armor up and Shield Slam. Otherwise, yeah. I see him probably just playing uh, Sludge Vulture. Yeah, and, indeed. And not, not going for the two turns. <laughs> That's <spice. laughs> Yeah, just put extra armor with the Belcher as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely have to think about it. I mean, you can shield block, try to top deck something. I don't think you do. No, but... you just go for Belcher. Yeah, I think you have to Belcher here. This is like some of the, I guess, like the most advantageous games for handlock is when you do manage to play your turn four like really big yeah. creature and they don't actually have the answer for it you know no bj for shield slam or execute this is when the games really can snowball in your favor but yeah he can kill the giant next turn though like with that spite and the belcher damage uh, of the slime as well so that will be eight exactly and i guess you have to do it depends what you drop yeah. if, if it goes so one of the things that um, might have gotten cut is the is the Earthen Ring Farce here. Um, wh what about X? Like, um, do they still play the X in the deck? Uh, X? What's that? The, the X, like Numburian Egg. Oh, Numburian Egg. No, yeah. That's not in Handlock. That's more in the... In, in the, in yeah. the Demon Log. Yeah, that's so not in the Molten Giant deck. So. Indeed. So that's not in the deck either. So I guess you have to go that spite here, yep, and just kill the giant. Yeah, it lines up perfectly too. Um, well, well, yeah, you will lose you your can, armor you though. you can attack the 5-5 five five next turn. Indeed. And you also have the Acolyte now, so it's perfect. I feel like Lothar, if you can make like a disruptive move here, um, which he can't. If he had something like a Argus or Sun Fury, it'd be perfect, yeah. right? To, to break up this board, to not let it so perfect with the death spite. Um, as it is, though, he needs to think of what to do. Uh, because again, Emperor, it just dies to death by. He's gonna kill Emperor Overload, that, yeah. obviously. It, it does make all cards cheaper, especially more close for one that's big. Another move I can see is just try to tap for something that'll break yeah, up this board, like Sun Fury or Argus. If you, if you get a demon, you can yeah, play indeed. Void Color. Or maybe you can play Void Color anyways, because so, they don't know a lot of So, times. what about demons? Like, what do they play? I think, like, one Doom Guard, uh, Jerexis, and Noganus. Noganus, maybe. Sometimes Dread Inferno, sometimes Doom Guard. I think Doom Guard as well. Like, I saw it in Ty's list as well, okay. so. Yeah. So, yeah, you definitely have to think here what to do. And if they run two owls here. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. Well, I was no, thinking they maybe do. you can tap an owl. Did they do it two owls? Yeah, I don't they, think you do they do it two owls, that's what I I don't heard. think you would tap an owl here anyways, because um, your owl dies at the yeah, next so it's I think it's okay, although like, honestly, I, I might have preferred just tapping and dropping Void Caller or something. I'm not sure if, they, if yeah. your tap goes bad. Ooh, but Wouldn't you try for like Dr. Boom and then, well, and then, no. No, that, that's too, no, too much yeah. RNG. Yeah, I mean it's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's too much RNG, especially with the watcher down. That's yeah, not a great if target. the watcher wasn't down, you could have tried it. Yeah, well, hands looking very, very good with all the cheap cards. Yeah, it's nice to see all these green effects, regardless of how useful they actually are. Um. So he has a lot of options this turn. Yeah, I mean, I think his goal here should be to try to at least kill Dr. Boom here yeah. and and then try to develop as much board as he can. And if he also can tap, that's another plus here. So he just think about if he can do all that. And he actually probably can. I mean, you can Dark Bomb trade your load that bin, double Mortal. Well, you can yeah. probably still tap and... Uh, you could, you could also stuff. silence your Ascent Watcher and then attack and then use the Dark Bomb oh, yeah. if you want. Um, but yeah, it's your only owl at the moment, so mm -hmm. you have to think about that. You're always a little bit scared of Sylvanas. He needs to yeah, mo move indeed. quick though, because I feel like most of his moves here involve a lot of draws. Yeah. You know, with the two locals potentially... Uh, it's it's a little it's bit speculative to me. Because... Because... 
Hellfire is is killing your own stuff here and your life. I don't yeah. like that very much. I also don't think that Moral Hole is extremely useful in this matchup, so you're only Hellfiring instead of Dark Bomb yeah, indeed. for the for the Dr. Boom, right? Because you have zero man Moral Holes. You can kill the one ones very easily. You could have actually tapped with that. I don't, like, tapping actually draws you the extra card, whereas Hellfire, you still take the three damage compared to two damage from tap. It also costs more. I don't know. I don't see a good reason for it. And also, I see it being fairly useful to cycle your Moracles in this matchup because it's not a very good card. So Yeah, indeed. Like, you're not you going to get like, throw you off with anyways. Yeah, you just want to see something else, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't know. I feel that was very speculative. Anyways. And he doesn't have a demon in, in his hand at the moment as well. Like, Powder doesn't know, so he probably won't kill it. Like, he's he's yeah. too, too afraid because he doesn't have an answer of what, what comes out. Like, if he... Yeah. So he's not gonna kill it, I think. Does he have a demon? No, no he doesn't have a but, demon. Yeah, so it's always... But, but like, this is also very weird If, if thing, I'm in right? Powder's position, yeah. like, I wouldn't kill it because I would be afraid mm -hmm. of what comes out because I don't have an answer right away. Mm -hmm. But let's see what Powder, powder so you does. You might want to set up this dust by anyways. Maybe even go face. Oh, I, I see. He's very scared of Defender Vargas and, yeah. and, and uh, Sunfury here. He basically wants to set up for a, a Grom kill next turn with the Death Bite, 14 yeah. damage, but he really didn't, doesn't want to give the taunt to that. So is Lothar any, any heals in this deck? Do you oh, think he runs heal? Oh, for sure. At least one, right? At least one heal bot. And yeah. it should be a Draxus to kind of yeah. heal. But yeah, the obvious thing is he has the Mold Giants. A lot of times he might want to stagger yeah. them, right, because of Brawl. Instead of playing both in the same turn. So he has to taunt this turn, else he dies. Yeah, I think he has to tap as well, because this hand is... Yeah. I think I think you want to play this matchup like, tapping a lot, especially because you have a demon and no demon right now. And uh, right now it's not... Oh, oh that's, that's very big. That's a nice draw. Yeah, but, but basically it's, it's not really about being at 13 or 11 or even 9 or 7. It's about having the taunt up, because you're dead yeah, in Grom anyways, lost. if you don't have a taunt. So there's no, not really too much of a difference in 11, 9, you know, whatever. He just, yeah, I don't think, I think he definitely should tap and then decide how much he needs to... So you only play one giant, right? I think I would play one giant. Because you're you you, you do, you're still scared of, okay, for Brawl. That's mm -hmm. way too much value if you go to double Molten. Yeah. So yeah, that's the correct play. Petter is actually in a lot of trouble himself yeah. too with the amount of life he's in, and well, yeah, and he doesn't really have an answer for the board as well. Mm -hmm. He might actually just be dead. I mean, he has to attack in the four or five. Yeah, well, but then Melgan's coming out. Yeah, if he you can't attack in the nine nine, or, like no, that's too much damage. Indeed. Well, if he, he, he needs to brawl, brawl but then, then you're still having to get lucky. In the brawl. Yeah. Right. What if the nine nine survives? Or so yeah. It's I think he's dead. It's, yeah, it is over, I think. Oh, he's trying to get some executes. I don't know what you can do here, actually. Well, even executes Yeah, that's not you. enough. No, it's dead. So Lothar will take the lead, 2-2-0. Two, two, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we'll the see a space enter. So I don't know if there's a trend, but yeah. Warrior... Like, I went like 1-5 and five with Warrior this turn. That's why... Like, it's, it's my worst performing deck by far. Um, well, Powder's Warrior stopped me twice, so... Still what? I, he stopped my... Like, two... T I, I played Powder two times, and uh -huh. two times I lost against his Warrior uh -huh. for, like... Like, my last game for getting out of groups was face hunt against uh, Warrior, but uh -huh. he had, like, insane draws. I've been hearing people have really bad stories with Warrior so far. Like, mostly losing a lot with Warrior. I, I talked to someone, I forgot... Uh, I forgot who it was. He, went, he said he went zero six with Warrior and, and six zero with the other decks. Did, did you saw Toots? Uh, Hunter, oh, like, that was that was that. Oh, that it was, was it was it was a thing yeah, that Hunter. Yeah, he that went zero six. Hunter. Yep. And then six zero with the other decks. That's always the thing about Conquest. You really need to be. Yeah, uh, he was brave bringing that. Yeah, you, you have to be very confident in every all your decks because you have to win with them all. So. It's really bad to have a yeah. a deck that. So he's playing probably one snake trap in his center, which is which is nice. Not the best against warrior though. Let's see. I oh, he has the arm re smith. Reboot the spectator. 
So he has already an armor smith and acolyte, which is pretty good against face hunter. Um, the ball as well, uh, if he gets too much cards. Oh, so Lothar misses one drop, right? Yeah. That's very, very yeah. big. And I also have some people that like, people really don't, I think people really give the coin a lot of credit in this matchup. Like, face hunter with coin and without coin seems very different because it's kind of hard to get one drop sometimes. You only yeah. have maybe four to six one drops. Whatever. Yeah, I, I often try yeah. to get the one drop with the hunter, but like sometimes, sometimes you, you don't get it. With do your two drops away and yeah, then you exactly. still don't get it and then. So it bad. makes your opening hand much more smooth because if you don't have the one drop, you, have to, you might have to mulligan some very good cards, maybe even good two drops to get one yeah. drops. It's always that awkward thing. Um, yeah. Powder. Okay, so. Oh, okay, it's it's already a it. really difficult field for uh, Lothar to deal with. Like, you don't really want a Wolf Ride or something. Yeah, this is like the perfect opening for yeah. for Warrior, unless like the 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 more perfect one. Basically, this is the perfect opening versus this type of opening. You know, yeah. if you go if you go something like a two ones and knife jugglers, you want cruel taskmaster maybe or axe. Eh, the one yeah. four is still good, but uh, against like a like a like he does, cannot, like yeah. playing gun curve here. Like it's also really like he has so many wrong plays to make and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, against like a Hunter Creeper Mad Scientist opening, it's yeah. really nice to have the 1-4 one and 1-3, one so... This is a tough turn for Lothar, because it's hard to just go face here. Usually yeah. go face, but again, like, Armor Smith is a very scary thing to leave up. Yeah. And even here, he can't really kill Armor Smith. He has a lot of, like, one attack minions, so Armor Smith and Acolyte can both yeah. get a lot of value together, even. It looks like it's a Snake Trap, right? Yeah, oh, I no. oh, well, hero power. It's kind of weird, actually, yeah. because Snake Trap really oh, kind of punishes, that's also really good. punishes your opponent for for trading into some of these minions, and you know your opponent really wants to trade in some of these minions. Oh, I see why. Because if you go knife trigger and snake trap, there's these pings which you could be. Yeah, that's a, a well. lot of pings. But I don't know. It's something consider. You get you get three one ones. And that might be what he needed. I could see the best move being something like drop the Han Creeper in Snake Trap or something as well. Yeah, that's that sounds good. Okay, so he's getting some armor. So you might go even would you go Belcher here? Or just shoot slam the tree two? Okay, so he's going for the shoot slam. And then just arm up. That's a, I, don't, I don't know. I actually don't like it. I, I like the Belcher better because um, having the armor smith yeah. belcher combo is really good because yeah, that's belcher, what I was thinking. You, you have to kill in multiple small chunks, you know. Even if you have a five damage, you still have to get through the one two. And that's assuming that they have the kill command, right? If they have to do hit in small chunks, you get so much armor from the armor smith combo. Yeah, I think Oh well, yeah, you would and get also like you, three or four armor. You know armor you're even. not scared of juggler here, right? Because you have the armor smith and the other other yeah. dude, so if he wasn't yeah, he wasn't he wasn't very scared of of juggler, I don't know. I kind of like the Belcher better. It might ruin his curve. I don't know if he has another another five drop or whatever, but I don't think it does. No, he doesn't. I, I think it's better to make the way stronger move though. I mean, it's not like his That's curve good. was that great either, yeah. right? He wasted a mana last turn anyway, so. You can get Doctor Boom out one turn earlier, but that's about it. Like just getting a lot of armor is really helpful in this matchup. Like, they need to spend so much resources just to kill one Belcher. Yeah. Oh, that's well, so probably a very good top deck, because it allows the uh, Wolf Rider to get through very cleanly. Yeah, else you didn't have a good way of cleaning it. Yeah. And again, like, without the Armorsmith here, this is much less effective. You don't feel too bad just using your two one twos to kill the slime yeah. here. Oh, he actually went like this. This way he doesn't get any more value from the Eagle Horn bow. Yeah, and like, when I play the Warrior matchup, I always like to get the value on the bow because you're limited uh, in the amount of damage you do. Mm -hmm. There could be reason, reasons why, though. I'm trying yeah. to think. I wonder how scary it is just to leave both creep, cre Creepers as 1-1. One, one. I don't know how common X Whirlwind is, but even if you Whirlwind, you still have four one ones. I don't know. Is that an explosive trap? Uh, yeah. yeah, it is. So, killing the spider here for next... He's setting up for next turn. 
Yeah, I mean, he does get one more damage, but that's okay because you you just want a clean board kill with the death spite mm -hmm. next turn. Yeah, this spider was played before the death spite, so it's death row will go off first. Um, so yeah, the whirlwind will clear everything if you can attack the creeper next turn. Yeah. Lothar might want an animal companion here. He has a lot of good ones, yeah. right? Actually, um, all of them are pretty good, actually. With, I think, Leok actually being the best here. Well, Leok Huffer is better, I think. Because it's also for damage, but you, you uh, Next it's, turn. A, it's a five snipe. Well, Leok is the same, right? Yeah. I don't know. I it's... think Leok is better. I'm not sure. Well, about. like, he, will you face tank Huffer? Or who but if it's after the world, it's gonna be four one. You can cruel yeah. task master it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's. I don't know if he has it, but it's. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Okay. So you just tear up all right, and you don't even play the snake trap. No, I guess. no way. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's just throwing away your snake trap. Indeed. I mean, you can actually just go for the two four here and leave up the two one ones, maybe. If that's better, maybe with execute. Oh well, yeah, he's just gonna execute yeah. indeed. Executing that. It's the same what? thing, right? Yeah. It's actually the same. Well, yeah, it doesn't really matter how you do it. Matter. It's still the same amount of damage. Dr. Boom Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's actually a little bit scared. Yeah. I mean, with his life. It makes sense. Yeah, because another thing is when you're at 12, um, Dr. Boom's three minions as well, and there's been no Unleash the Hounds played yeah. yet. We know there's no Unleash, but from Paris' perspective, it's very risky. And also he knows that there's a explosive I believe as well, so the boom bots can't be that great either. So yeah, he plays the snake top as well, so mm -hmm. if he attacks, it he can brawl after and like if one suffice, ooh, yeah. he gets a second shield maiden as well. Yeah. The big thing is that like all, all these all these turns, right? Like Power has so many of these big creatures or big cards in his hand. Yeah, he, he can just even needs brawl to like he just needs to develop them. After. Yeah, it's just like Brawling, the, the problem with Brawl is it costs too much mana, you know, he wants to just play these big minions out. And Brawl costs 5 mana, he pretty much can't do anything else. I guess you can but Brawl and Yeah, you can Brawl Trendy, like, but you have to you have to kill the 4-2, right? Yeah. No, I mean, I'm, well, I'm saying he, he is going to have to Brawl, but it's not ideal, is yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. Because you also want to develop, like, Shield Maid and get the 5 more armor. Um, it is looking pretty good for power, though. Oh, I think he's just playing a never procking the snake trap, maybe? Yeah, that's also a possibility. But if he goes face, uh, is he even going to brawl then? Well, then just belch your hero power, or... Yeah, if you go face, I don't think you even brawl, right? No. But that's kind of a little bit risky, belcher. Can he do something else that's good? Um, oh, if the owl comes out now, that's huge. Mm -hmm. Because if he owls now, that's like six damage, um, eight damage. And he's at four, and like four damage is really easy to do. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't really have an activator for his go match either. Well, no owl, so that's really good. Yeah. So he, next turn he's gonna really good, uh, stabilize really good. And he has 11 damage. So if you. Yeah, yeah well, this game is pretty much over. There's, there's a shield main next turn, yeah. even if there's not lethal for war somehow. I mean, he probably doesn't have lethal. He would have lethal if he has picked up an activator for Grom, I think. Yeah. But even then, just Shield Maiden is, is, is fine. You win the game after Shield Maiden. Yeah, like, it makes sense for him not to want to brawl because, like, uh, it just costs too much mana. You know, he Indeed. just wanted to do some other stuff as well. And that wasn't so Oh, yeah, and stuff. pushing for damage, yeah. getting lethal quicker it was yeah. also a really good decision. Yeah, even with the L, it's not enough here anymore. So. Or even last turn, it wasn't enough. Yeah. Even with the L. Should well, if you draw into quick shot. <laughs> oh, so quick shot face. Owl. Quick shot, no. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> Two quick shots. And owl. Yeah. Okay. That that can work. Yeah. Quick shot face. Quick shot face. Draw into the owl. Yeah. Silence. Different people run different amount of quick shots. I think some people run like uh, one quick shot. Well, yeah. I, I haven't seen them in Lotor. Yeah. Lotor stack. It's looking uh. A lot of like the earlier version of face enter. Okay, so Power makes uh, has a win now. So he, he only has to win once with this face enter again against Freeze Mage or and Warlock. Oh yeah. So, so now that now that um, Power is down to his last deck, right? He only has. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Lotus down to his last deck. He's face enter and he has to win against Freeze Mage and Headlock. 
I thought Lothar was up 2-1. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean. But you don't... Yeah, so so we know all the matchups left. Yeah. It's just Lothar only has someone with his face center. He's playing against Freeze Mage and... And uh, Handlock. And Handlock. Those are some good matchups. This looks really bad for Powder. Because yeah. Lothar only needs to win one matchup. And both are kind of good. Indeed. If, if you have early lead with uh, face center, it's really easy to yeah. squeeze and uh, win really quickly. Yeah. So I'm going to rejoin real quick. Yeah, so it turns out that Lothar does actually have a quick shot. Well, let's see if he has two. That's kind of like a... Kind of like the dream opening for for Mage here. The, I mean, Lothar missed his uh, one drop again, although he did pick up the Leopard, yeah. but that was too late for the one drop. Um, this 2 one's really annoying. I feel like he definitely would play Knife Juggler, but then this minion is ruining his game plan. Yeah, I wonder I... what his plan is, though, because he didn't even drop a two drop on turn two. I wonder why exactly, because now is he going to, he can't ever drop his knife juggler now, unless, unless he gets lucky. I guess he's going to go for the lucky play. Um, I don't know. Yeah, well, that's huge. Like, Or he can losing. just drop both one drops, I don't know. Well, or hero power and just war gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wonder how important Owl is, though, against Freeze Mage. In a lot of matchups, it's very important yeah, to get the but Doomsayer, but face her, I don't know if you can well, you that Well, most, most of the time, you already get value for your main by charging, so, yeah. like, the Owl... Like, next turn, you can even, I think, uh, Owl the Loot Order. Uh -huh. If you want, like, Worgen Hail Power, then next turn, you go Knife Juggler, Owl. <laughs> the nine one card. And we actually saw this matchup already, uh, like, two times uh, in the groups, and actually, Freeze Mage yeah. managed to win... Uh, uh, win a uh, win before, so maybe Proud is able to do it again. Actually, with the owl on turn two, even if you owl the loot quarter, he can just ping your owl, so it still doesn't yeah. trade. Well, it's denying the draw, right? Yeah, yeah, denying the draw. And then your wargan lives as well because he cannot ping your wargan then. This is certainly weird for Lothar. Um, he doesn't want to trade the 3 2 into it, but then since it's a knife juggler, and you want to play, you know, some leopard yeah. and worgans. I, I think he's almost starting to play leopard and worgan, so he doesn't want to ping the accolade multiple times. I think he's gonna have to punch with the three two, but then it dies to ping. It's always a little bit awkward. You have yeah. some other weird options like quick shot, but I don't know if it's that great. You also have some another option like owl, but th that doesn't make any sense because yeah. then you're just trading a two one for it probably. Which is even worse, probably, than just trading 3 2. So. Yeah, and getting too many mains on the board is also bad, like, because you you, you still you are afraid of uh, yeah. Gun of Gold. So he's gonna yeah. place the Worgen in the middle, I guess? I think he's gonna attack with the Worgen. There's no reason for me to. Yeah, but like the second oh, Worgen. Oh, the second one. But yeah. He should have placed it in the middle to dodge the Gun of Gold, or he's not gonna attack at all. Oh, he's playing around Gun of Gold yeah. like this. Wait, that's not but, yeah, that's 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 not good. Like, <laughs> not really. why wouldn't you place no, in the middle then? No, but why would he attack? I don't get it. Yeah, well, if if he had Cone of Gold, he would still have lost three well, minions. Well, but there's no difference against Cone of Gold. Well, right? if you place the Worgen in the yeah, middle, yeah, 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 yeah. then you only would have lost two but minions. But with the way he did, there's yeah. no reason to not to attack. Indeed. Right? Is is there something really weird that that matters? for not attacking because he's gonna ping the juggler anyway yeah like or, or, i would have and, and there's anyways. also a leper node so there's so many targets to ping yeah who cares about unstealthing the other world and, like uh, you wouldn't get know. more damage i don't know why next level plays he's not gonna still keep stealthing no, <laughs> <laughs> no it's, it's getting out now so that's uh, okay yeah i mean i know this match you don't use hero power as much as possible as, yeah. as warlock i mean as hunter because Eventually, you're going to get con controlled and frozen, lose all your minions. You just want to weave in all those gear powers. That's that's the reason why this matchup is so hard, because you can't stabilize this mage versus hunter. Even yeah. if you start freezing, hunter just keeps hero powering you. And they have a lot of chargers, so you can never stop that damage either. Yeah, that's a bad, that's a bad draw for Lothar, though, like the snake type. You, you, so won't, you won't ever attack him, so... No. In fact, even explosive is kind of yeah. useless, because it doesn't proc, so... Indeed. Two owls, unfortunately, they're not that good. Owl for a lot of matchups, they're like it's like the best card against mage, because you can stop the doomsayer, or even just uh, say you're a handlock, you have eight eight, you can freeze your unfreeze your eight eight, get eight damage. But in this matchup, it doesn't seem that big. But would you keep all the owls in your hand? Like 
don't you want to empty your hands for your quick shot? Yeah, I don't know. Does he have a choice? Because he like he has so him? many mana left mm -hmm. every turn, and what do you want owl? Yeah, I don't know. You can still owl some the draw, maybe like acolyte or loot hoarder. Other than that, yeah, there's not a lot. Well, to you owl. have two owls, so you can use one, right? Yeah. Like because you do want the value for your quick shot. At least I I, I would assume. Uh, Maybe that's not as important as just keeping the owl. Just don't get the value for it. Well, yeah. So indeed. So he decides to play it now. I wonder if he's gonna play the other one as well. Why he? Miss oh, okay. The hero power. Let's see Mage's hand. Does he have Alexstrasza yet? He has Alexstrasza, he has a Pyroblast, and he has an Ice Block up. He Emperor. cannot play. Emperor is really big. That might yeah. be something with the L as well, because if you leave Emperor up for Freeze Mage, they can do really crazy combos. Especially if they can get the Ice Lance as your mana yeah. with uh, Arch Mage. But he um, can block the Ice Block next turn, though. Yeah. So that's huge. Yeah. After you pro Ice Block, it's going to force Alex a lot of times in this matchup. It is going to be used to heal yourself. Indeed. Because, um,. You don't need to Alex them to kill them. You can just play Alex as an 8-8 eight, eight and heal yourself, and then the Alex Charles can just start attacking them as eight, well. Eight. And you still, like, you still have a uh, Pyroblast, Fireball, so it's yeah. a lot of damage. That's already 26 damage. Or 24, I mean. So Quick Shot's probably going to be... Um... Yeah. Wait, is he not going to cycle it? Okay, he's cycling it. This should be perfect, right? Get proc the Ice Block. Yeah, and he's at 2 damage. And draw another yeah. card. So he has to Alex Trazma next turn. Yeah, pretty much for sure. But this is gonna get into kind of a race. He can't. At two is perfect because you can't even proc the explosive and then Alex Trazma. Yeah. You so you're effectively at 13 here. Although, Powder has to decide whether he ever wants to proc the explosive here or just trade forever. Right, because you can, as Freeze Mage, you have a chance choice of never proccing and just burn. Yeah. But then the problem is, you, if you have Alex draws at 8-8, eight, eight, oh, you to, probably just yeah. want to proc it anyways, right? He wants to get a secret out, like, and what does he get? He gets a nice wow, barrier. Very, that's really big. Yeah. Actually. Maybe he was scared of Unleash the Hounds, or he just wanted to suicide the, the Mad Scientist. Another thing is, this is his kind of last turn for Barrier, right? Because if he played a next turn and got Barrier, you could be at like two or three and just die yeah. zero power. Bar barrier only works on uh, like minion attacks or weapon attacks, so if you get it one turn too late, it might be a dead turn. So, so yeah, he will void clear uh, next turn. Uh, and he, he, he actually he has dead? a or does he have no, how dead. much That's indeed lethal, right one power blast yep, indeed <laughs> he has the power blast so yeah that's a lot of damage Alex Straza is just so big like it's 8 damage plus 5 13 damage power blast oh, so yeah, yeah. Does <laughs> okay so the, the last matchup is Warlock against uh, face hunter yeah and look what do you think about the matchup? Warlock, I, I think. Um, I don't th like people say Faisant is really favored, but it's not. Yeah, it's, it's probably not, not as so, bad as yeah. a lot of people say. But if you look at um, if you look at Powers Handlock, it was very greedy, right? Because he was running Mountain Giant, and you know he was running all of them, right? Mountain Giant, Twilight Drake, and Void Color. Or is, or is Th there, there was Lotus, uh, Lotus uh, handlock, right? We didn't see Powder's oh, handlock yet. Oh, I got confused then. Because the more greedy you are, the, the worse you are against Face Hunter. Yeah. Especially, like, Mountain Giant is particularly bad against Hunter. Because it's well, very... he, he does have Kazan in his. Oh. In his but, like, <laughs> this, this isn't, isn't that strong. Okay, he keeps it. Yeah. I guess you would keep Kazan against yeah. Hunter. Well, I, don't I, I, I that like burn, yeah. In face hunt, it's not that bad because normally you have a weapon to poke the top anyways, yeah. and then some of your charge means after. But it's nice to have. It's still good. Yeah. But um, it's not as bad as against something like Mech Mage or yeah. or, or Freeze Mage. Yeah. Get his ice <laughs> block Mage. attack. Yeah. Or yeah. Even even like against mid range, I think it's more important to get yeah. like a freezing trap. So. It's still nice, of course. It's, you prevent yourself for two damage. And Lotus. Uh, Still didn't get a one drop. He had to coin as well. <laughs> Always that and problem. already two belchers and a heal bolt. Yeah. So he just needs to get to the turn five. 
Uh, this is that's so bad for Lothar yeah. um, to not have the one drop because Powder's early game he actually just tapped turn two and three. That's yeah. like the greediest thing you can do Indeed. against against Hunter, and you get punished for it a lot if they drop more minions, right? So it kind of worked out pr really luckily or perfect for Powder that Lothar. Yeah, actually... Yeah, because like you already have the Twilight Drake, right? Like it doesn't you don't need the held extra held like. I'm afraid when I t tap against the face and then he's already at 22. Like if you just don't tap, just play the Drake, play the Bulge into Bulge heal bot. Like that's that's a lot of uh, yeah. defending damage. But you, if you don't actually have anything to do on turn two and three, you kind of do have yeah. to. Yeah. It's very hard to just turn two pass. Well, yeah, I agree. Yeah, like exactly. he, he does have to tap on turn yeah. two. That, that's what I would have done. Mm. But like you, you, you have all the answers already. So, why, why do you want to tap? Yeah, it's actually kind of scary even to play a four drop here at eighteen. Yeah, Lothar would actually got two more damage if you played the abusive on turn two instead of hero power because it would attack twice. But yeah, that's a little well, bit. Well, you don't know if he has more to coil, yeah. right? He could have more to coil on turn yeah. three. There's no way you play yeah. around Moltens here. No. You can't play around Moltens. Well, and you also got one Owl, that's yeah. pretty nice. If you can put him on 13 then, or 14, then he cannot taunt up and Molten. But I guess you just go for all in. You have to all in. Yeah. Wolf Rider all in. It sucks because you don't get the hero power, but it doesn't make sense to do anything else, I think. You can quick shot and hero power, but that... Those kind of things go through burn. And go indeed, through like, top, right? Indeed. So, so yeah, just well, well if you go. Arcangelum is yeah. worse, right? That gives him mana and it's one more damage. I don't think you can arcangle him. Mana is so big for handlock right here. Yeah. Usually you're saving your quick yeah. shot for for the um for the last damage because it goes through taunt. Oh, that's scary. The hellfire is pretty useless. Indeed. <laughs> this, uh, there's what a heal bot and there's a yeah. a belcher. Oh wow, that's well, that's also really good. Oh if, yeah. Oh, but the snake the... trap. Oh my god. So that doesn't really help that him. Actually, and he lost that's the game. Lethal, right? He was count. His yeah. play it was wasn't playing around. Play. His play was really—it was playing around, knowing that it was—it was explosive, right? To clear yeah. his board. <laughs> but yeah, that doesn't work. Obviously, losing the game. Pretty interesting. Yeah. I guess he Howard had to know maybe it was snake trap. Well, he, he kn knew it he from, knew the, from last the last game. Yeah. game. But still, there's two explosive trap, and there's yeah. only one snake trap. He had to take risks. He didn't. He went low and didn't have. The molten, so Indeed. you're pretty much taking yeah. risks. It was really funny to see the snake trap, and <laughs> we're pretty, pretty smart play. Unfortunately, didn't pay off. Indeed. All right. Well. So Lothar is advancing now. Yeah, Lothar advances. Well, not advances, but well, he wins the first yeah, game of the of its group. So it's still going to be another match here. Um, the winner will play Lothar, and the loser will play Powder, I believe. So. And the other play he could have made was like heal, but because Belcher wouldn't help him either, right? Yeah, it's kind of hard though. I don't, I don't. And I feel like with the heal bot, it's like not playing to win, you know? Yeah. Because you're still leaving up six minions, six. Um, uh, it was three minions. It was two. Oh, but scientists. he will, he had to attack the eight eight into one, then the snake trap yeah. box oh, yeah. two, right? Well, he attacked first. Oh right? no, no, you're right, you're yeah. right. You're so right. he had like three minions, and then you could have done heal bot. But that that's still like but, yeah. You, you, it's not playing to win because the three minions still go face, and then hero yeah. power, maybe another charger, and then it doesn't and matter. You, you could never had two tons because he had the owl. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Once you use your heal bot, they can just burn you out from there. So yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to have a 10-minute break, guys. Uh, after the break, it's going to be a Nimsh for Sick Night, so...